Do your knees click and pop like mine do? If so, check out today's video. Today we are talking about knee cracking and popping. The technical term for this is knee crepitus. And this is a super common complaint and symptom that we see in the physical therapy clinic. And it relates to our kneecap and the joint that's behind our kneecap. Our kneecap has a joint behind it called the patellofemoral joint. It's the joint that it's right behind your kneecap. It's where your kneecap sits in this groove on this upper thigh bone, the femur. And so the popping and cracking that comes from the knee joint is thought to like popping and cracking our other joints to be related to a pressure change in the joint. And what's really important to know is that a lot of people are bothered by these noises and socially feel like it's awkward and they feel like there's something wrong with their knee. But the research actually says the opposite. It's, it has shown that in almost 97% of cases, cracking and popping from the knee joint and our other joints is not associated with pathology or musculoskeletal problems. So the times to pay attention to are if you have pain, so if your knee pops and cracks and you have pain, or if you've had a recent injury, some sort of trauma, and now you have new noises, those are situations to pay attention to. So again, if you have pain or you've had a recent injury, I'm gonna show four exercises that can help alter the mechanics of the knee joint to improve strength of the hip and the muscles around the knee, and in many cases can help pain and change these noises that come from the patellofemoral joint. So let's go ahead and jump into them. For the first exercise, we're gonna use a foam roller to basically do a soft tissue mobilization of the muscles on the front of the thigh, the quadriceps muscles. Your quadriceps run down, and then the patellar tendon goes over the top of your kneecap. So if the quads are tight, it can put more pressure on the kneecap and it may be part of what causes pain in the patellofemoral joint or more popping and cracking. So if we can loosen the quads up, that usually helps some of these issues. So what you're gonna do is take a form roller like this one and lay it down. You're gonna go into sort of a plank position and you're going to place your quads, the front of your thigh right on the roller. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk with my arms and basically massage and mobilize my quadricep muscles. I'm gonna go all the way down just to the top of where my kneecap is, but not on my kneecap. And then I'm gonna walk back and basically, again, just do sort of a self massage of my quads to loosen them up, which will help take pressure off the kneecap. So just walk back and forth. I usually tell people you can do this every day. You can do it a few times a day if it feels really helpful. And you might be on the roller each time for, you know, one to three minutes something like that. The second exercise is gonna be a stretch and another one to target the quadricep muscles. In this one, we're gonna stretch the quads, which again, will take pressure off the kneecap. Just be careful with this stretch because obviously I'm putting weight on my kneecap and if your kneecap is sensitive to compression, this can sometimes make it worse. So what you wanna do is do it on carpet or put a pad or something, some kind of padding underneath your kneecap. What we're gonna do is put the painful side down. This is the leg we're gonna stretch, the leg that's behind. You are going to tighten your abdominals and your glutes to put the pelvis in posterior tilt, which is already gonna put the muscles on the front of the thigh on a little bit of tension. Then we're going to lunge forward slightly. You should get a stretch in the front of your thigh. And then to increase this, you're gonna reach back and grab your foot and bend it a little bit. So again, abs tight, glutes tight, and then bend the knee and go for a moderate level stretch in the front of the thigh. You'll do two to four of these and hold for 30 to 60 seconds. This will help stretch the quads and take pressure off of that patellofemoral joint. If we look at the research on patellofemoral pain syndrome, it's really important to include a combination of glute and quadricep strengthening. But you've gotta be careful with the quadricep strengthening because putting stress and squeezing the quads compresses the patellofemoral point. This is what ha the patellofemoral joint, this is what happens when people go up and down stairs, they do squats. Those are the types of activities that tend to make the kneecap more painful. So again, just be careful with doing too much quad strengthening. Glute strengthening, on the other hand, is something we wanna focus on and can be really helpful for the patellofemoral joint. So this exercise is called the standing fire hydrant. We're gonna stand on one leg with a band around our knees. I'm gonna pretend like my right leg's got the pain here. 
what's going to happen is this leg's going to go out into abduction and external rotation and back a bit towards the corner into extension. So I've got three movements, abduction, extension, and external rotation. This will help to strengthen my glutes, not only on this leg, but also on the leg I'm standing on. So you'll want to do this on both sides. You're going to go for three sets of eight to 15 repetitions, basically just go to fatigue and strengthening the glutes, like I said, will help with kneecap related pain. For the last exercise, we are going to start strengthening the glutes and the quads. We're gonna do a single leg squat. A lot of people are familiar with single leg squats, but we're gonna change this one a little bit and make it more hip dominant, and we're gonna lean our trunk forward a little bit. Previous research has shown that when you do this, it helps activate the glutes and decreases activation in the quads, which again, when your kneecap is sensitive, we wanna be careful with how much we activate and recruit the quadricep muscles. So what you're gonna do is get into your single leg squat position. Instead of just going sort of straight up and down and using more of my quadricep muscles, I'm gonna stick my butt back and lean my trunk forward. Again, this has been shown to help activate the glutes while also taking some stress off of the kneecap and the quads. So we're still strengthening our quads, but it's more focused on the glutes. So this is referred to as a hip dominant or hip centric single leg squat. So for this one, again, let's shoot for three sets of around 10 repetitions, but you have to really base it on your symptoms and how your knee handles this. If it flares things up, then just dial back a little bit and try to build up over time. Okay. So those are our exercises that we're going to start with for patellofemoral joint pain. Again, don't worry if you just have kneecap noise and it doesn't hurt, it's not a big deal. Mine make a ton of noise and I have no pain. It's not usually associated with pathology, so don't stress about it. But if you've got pain or you've had a recent injury and your knee is now making noises, these can be helpful. So you're going to mobilize the quads, stretch the quads, strengthen the glutes with the fire hydrant, and then strengthen the quads and the glutes with the single leg squat. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments section, and I will see you next time. Bye.